what's up guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi i'm lauren it's nice to meet you we today are talking about five ways to be productive whenever you feel like you're being unproductive or you just can't be productive so let's go ahead and jump on in to today's video all right so my first tip is going to be get up and go work out just get moving because Honestly, whenever you start working out, it releases endorphins and it makes you want to become more productive. Kind of like after you go on a run, you want to eat healthy. It's kind of the same idea, but with being productive. So if you're kind of in a rut and you really don't want to do anything, either go on a run, go on a walk, go get on the treadmill, do like, you know, a fun little exercise round, maybe do like 15 push ups and like, 20 squats it will genuinely help so much i kid you not whenever i don't want to be productive that is like my go-to let's head on over into the second one okay so i am using the ordinary plant derived squalene 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 whatever it is oil on my face i'm just gonna wash uh, really quick so tip number two is going to be change up your scenery because i mean whenever you're working in the same place for a really long time you just kind of get uninspired and it's just not fun anymore so honestly what i would suggest is i would suggest maybe trying to work outside maybe try and work outside or even just like you know go to a different room in your house go sit in the kitchen or just literally anything because anything is better than nothing all right, so let's get into tip number three. Okay, so honestly, tip number three might be like my favorite tip of all. Also, if you're curious, I am using the A Cosmetics CC Cream. This is in light medium because I'm usually self-tanned, but my face isn't as tanned, so I'd like it to be at the moment, but we're gonna still use it anyways. Tip number three is going to be organize your workspace because, well, honestly, it is not fun to work in an unorganized workspace. For me personally, it just feels like it's it's more draining than anything. And I don't wanna work, I get so unproductive. And honestly, if your desk space is already organized, already organized, if your desk space is already organized, just go through and honestly, either reorganize it, put new things in different places so you feel inspired again. Because honestly, a lot of the time, you'll like get in a rut because you already know like, I don't know. It's just me personally, like I get in such a rut if, um, if everything stays the exact same for a very long time. So honestly, try changing it up. See what it does for you because who knows, it might just be the best thing that you've ever done. So I like to say, change up your space at least every three months. So yeah, there's that. And I feel like by changing it up at least every three months, then at that point, you're kind of like, you're kind of always on top of it. You're always on the ball, like always doing something fun. So that's gonna be tip number three. Let's go ahead and get into tip number four. Okay. So tip number four, this is one that I like to use whenever like I'm just feeling uninspired. So this one is actually going to be to draw and just get like your creative juices flowing. Draw, brainstorm, journal, anything that's going to spark your creativity in that side of your brain, you really should do. So that's why you should do something that's not like, like don't read because I mean like, yeah, reading's good for you and sometimes it does get your creative juices flowing, but really if you're feeling unproductive, personally, I feel like I mostly just need like color. Like do something almost mindless, but it's gonna get your creative juices flowing because otherwise it's just, you're not gonna be productive. This curling iron that I'm using, this is the Babeless Pro Titanium in a one inch. This one I freaking love. The only thing I don't like about it is that the place to hold up here is just so freaking little. Now, let's get into five. So, number five. If none of those other things are working for you, I would almost say like go in and like listen to a productive podcast. 
I would suggest either Boss Babe, The Health Code Podcast, anybody that you like. Gary Vaynerchuk, he's a great one. He, um, he's very spicy in his language, but you know, there is a clean version that you can listen to, but, um, yeah, honestly, I feel like listening to a motivational, inspirational podcast, it really gets you going. And honestly, like if you have to, listen to a podcast on your walk. Like 10 out of 10, it clears your brain, it gets you motivated. And once you get back, you're like, yes, I want to do it all. So that is my number five for you. So let's go ahead and get into six. Number six, this one's actually going to be go in and like take a nap because sometimes you just sometimes you just need a nap so honestly go in take like a 20 minute power nap sometimes that refreshes you enough and you can get up and be productive as you want to be so that is tip number six let's get into seven all right and number seven which is going to be my last one this one is honestly just going to be embrace your unproductivity like honestly Sometimes it's just better to be unproductive because then it motivates you to do more whenever you get inspired. So honestly, if you're feeling super unproductive and like you really don't wanna do anything and you just can't get in the mood for anything, go ahead and just embrace it. Just, you know, watch some YouTube videos, chill out. That might be your body telling you you need to calm down for a second and just breathe. So. Honestly, those are going to be my top seven tips on how to be productive whenever you don't feel like it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the outro. Alrighty guys, so that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like videos formatted like this, go ahead and give this a thumbs up and comment down below. We like this or just something around the long, along the lines of that. So with that being said, I will see y'all again next Tuesday. Bye.